Hello there, my name is Vismas and uh, so this is a continuation of our training, free training series, Making Tilted Towers, uh, Blender 2.8 a training series. And uh, let's first get the basics out of the way and uh, see how we can get started on, on this. Uh, so, so if you're from Blender 2.7 uh, and before, uh, you will realize that a lot of things have, cha have been changed. And the first thing you will notice is that uh, uh, the select button has been changed uh, from right click to left click now that now to select object different objects if you have the default settings uh if you have the default settings or uh, factory settings as your default settings uh you will see that uh, you realize that uh, right click now gives you uh, this context menu and uh, left click is what you use to select uh, different objects and uh, you can also use drag if you select this icon here, uh, box select, you can also drag select different objects. So, yeah, that's one thing to note. So I'll keep my shortcuts down here uh, so that you can see what I'm doing and uh, what buttons I'm pressing uh, when I do this. Uh, so, yeah, that's the first thing you will notice. And uh, if you're starting a uh, blender, let me, let me open up a new version here. So. Uh, you might see a button here asking you to, to use to choose between right click or left click uh, depending on the version of blender you, you are using uh, so that's one thing to note uh, the other thing to note is that uh, you can see that uh, we have a few tools here that we didn't have in the previous version uh, so you have the select tool you have the cursor uh, here uh, so the cursor here if you are new to blender is uh, it, it basically tells blender why, where to add objects so if say I want to add another cube like this, I go under this menu here, add mesh cube, and you'll see it will be added at the position of the 3D cursor uh, there. And uh, to move the 3D cursor, the location of the 3D cursor, you just make sure that you have that selected as your tool, and then select and then select anywhere in your 3D cursor, and then add uh, the object again. So the 3D cursor, cur cursor is not only used for a position for placing objects, you can also use it, let me make sure this is recording, you can also use it uh, for things like rotation and uh, uh, scaling uh, objects. So, and uh, you will also notice that uh, if you have the 3D cursor active as your tool, you won't be able to select any other objects uh, because you will be using that, you, you'll be using left click at position the 3D cursor. So to select any object, you need to go back to the select tool and then you will be able to select uh, the objects again. So, as I was saying, uh, the 3D cursor is not only used for positioning, uh, for placing objects, uh, it can also be used as a pivot point uh, for rotation and scale. So, right now, if you look at the tools menu here, uh, we have these transform tools, and uh, if we have an object selected, uh, we can use that uh, to rotate, move, or scale uh, the object, uh, depending on the axis you have selected. So, if I zoom in a bit here, I'm using my middle mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Uh, but uh, if you have an object selected, let's say this object here, you can press uh, full stop or dot on your uh, numpad uh, to zoom in onto that object. So again, we have these gizmos uh, that allow you, that let you move uh, the object in different axes. Uh, you have these circles that lets you uh, rotate uh, the object depending on the axis you have selected. So if you select uh, the red axis, you're rotating that in the x-axis, uh, then y for the green, then z for the blue. So, but uh, if you look closely, uh, this object is being rotated uh, using its uh, pivot point, using its origin as its pivot point. Every object you see here has an origin and uh, this is used uh, to position uh, the object. So let me show you something here. So if you want to know the position of this object, uh, this mesh, this cube here, uh, so it's calculated from this point here, which is uh, its origin object, origin point. Uh, so if you select this object, so its position in the 3D world is calculated from this uh, uh, origin point. So that's also used as the as the rotation, as the pivot point for the rotation. Uh, but uh, you can change 
uh, the pivot point are from that origin from the origin uh, to 3d cursor so if i move if i select this 3d cursor and position it around there and then select this object i can select this object i can change the rotation to be uh, car to this object to be rotated from uh, the 3d cursor instead of the pivot point here uh, by going and up here and changing the pivot point from median point of oh, this is called the median point don't not the yeah so from medium point uh, to 3d cursor so if i rotate now you can see that uh, it's using that 3d cursor as your rotation and uh, you can also scale this object now uh, let me scale let's see i'm scaling from uh, the 3d point the 3d the 3d cursor there so let me make sure that i'm need a better object that is rotated there so let me add other cube so you can also to reset the 3d cursor to the center of the 3d view you can hit shift c to, to reset that then if we add uh, let's say a monkey head let's zoom in a bit <coughs> so if i scale using the scale tools you can see i'm scaling uh, from the 3d cursor which is also the pivot point right now but uh, if i change this here maybe there and scale you can see i'm scaling uh, from that point so that's another use of uh, the 3d cursor so the other thing we might we are going to use here uh, when we're modeling the uh, tilted towers is modifiers and some of the modifiers we're going to use are mirror modifiers uh, because if you look at this we get URF here. If you look at this object here, uh, because we're going to model this tower first, and uh, if you look at it closely, you can see all angles of this object look symmetrical and uh, look identical. So there is no, it wouldn't be very efficient to model every side uh, individually uh, because that would be a lot of work. And uh, if we can just model one side and uh, let Blender duplicate the other side or model the other side that would be really good and uh, the way we do that we can use a mirror modifier uh, so modifiers in blender are just used are used to assist to assist you in modeling and uh, doing things that uh, may take a lot of time to do to model manually and uh, just make it's just a way of automating a few things so let me reset my 3d cursor shift c and uh, add a plane just to demonstrate to you maybe let me add a monkey head to demonstrate to you how uh, the mirror modifier works or mirror or modifiers work so if we go to the properties panel here and uh, you can access this panel under uh, if you click on this drop down menu editor type uh, you can find it under data uh, properties so if you select the object you can access its modifiers by clicking on this icon here and uh, you have a list of modifiers under this drop down menu so the modifier we're looking for again as i said i'm not going to go step by i'm not going to go over tool by tool i'm just going to look at the tools we're going to be using to get to achieve uh, this uh, scene here and uh, since this is a basic tutorial i don't want it to be too basic uh because i want it to be enjoyable for people who who have some knowledge of, of blender so yeah so to add the mirror modifier we can just find it from the list here and uh, i think it's this is it and uh, the way this works you can see we have added it here but uh, it's not showing uh, basically what it does what it the way it works is it works like uh, real world uh, mirrors uh, it just mirrors the polygons of an object from one axis to the opposite to the opposite in the opposite direction of that axis so right now we are mirroring uh, the polygons of this mesh on the X axis uh, but the problem is if we look at this uh, in the front view, uh, all the polygons are in the middle of uh, the x-axis, so we can't really see the effects of this object. And uh, since this object has symmetry, I can see the line of symmetry here. Uh, we don't really see how this is being mirrored. So to see this, we just need to move all the polygons onto the other side of the axis, of the, of the x-axis, and you can see that uh, we have a mirror copy of this on the other axis so if we make any changes this side uh, they're also duplicated 
in the mirror, in the clone mirror of this object. So uh, this is going to help us to, to model these assets like this that have symmetry. You can see this object has symmetry. Uh, what I mean is that uh, things on this side look identical but mirrored on this side. So if we were going for something like this, I would add a mesh and uh, then add a mirror modifier. So if I move this on the x-axis, you can see what we have. So if I make any edits here. Yeah, so we'll, we'll continue looking at this in the next tutorial. Thank you.